This gun cast is sponsored by... Nobody. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's who. I'm ready. Guncast episode 35. Welcome back, Gunners, YouTubers, subscribers. Happy New Year! Word, man. Happy motherfucking New Year, man. Out here, How was your New Year's, here. my guy? How was your New Year's, my guy? My New Year's was uh, regular, regular, schmegular. Chill, relax, drank a little bit, but nothing too crazy. That's it. Not Did you, what you drink? Some yak? No, nah, hell no. I got some yak today. I got some henny with pineapple juice. Fire. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Try it. <laughs> Did you drink on your Try birthday? It. Did they load up your DM? Yeah. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was pretty upset at you. That was fucking awesome. You yeah. guys did a good job. If you missed it, his birthday was January 1st. So if you if you just catching up, you know. Nah, don't send no fucking birthday. Birthday. <laughs> Yo, I got flooded. Birthday. Hey, first, nah, seriously though. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. But uh, I'd rather just answer car questions. Because I'm uh, answering everyone that... Uh, whatever. I love him. you guys, man. Happy New Year's, everybody. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. Uh, it meant a lot. Seriously. <laughs> Fuck you. I was asleep by 10, 12. Uh, didn't drink. I made a beef patty with cheese. And I had a little salad that I made, too, with some uh, feta cheese. Yeah, don't knock me. New it Year's. What it is. New no, Year's. Feta, no, feta is good. Yeah, with feta salad. Fire, yeah. fire. What kind of drizzle? What kind of drizzle? Uh, I'm a hood booger, so I like ranch. Do you have a gun cast A gun number? A gun yeah, what kind of monster sends dark chocolate? A whole... Ronnie, what kind of monster are you to send an assorted bag of dark chocolate only? Yo, we want the fatty shits around here, God. Send the milk chocolate, yeah, man. man. <laughs> we want the unhealthy shit around here, Yo, I know man. beggars can't be choosy, man. Thank you for the proportion involved. No, for real. But what kind of monster are you to send an assorted <laughs> bag mm -hmm. of dark chocolate? Different exuberances and calibers is... And qualifications in there. Yeah. But we needed the fat. Yeah. 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 Fat. But who wants to be healthy eating chocolate? And not have no Snickers in the fucking bag. Is Snickers no. part of that company? No. I don't think so. That's no. why. No. Yeah. Um, wow. We're so fucking Can't ungrateful. even take a fucking hungry. Yeah, <laughs> We're so ungrateful. <laughs> what do you got here? Uh, so, you want to do side notes first? So, wait, you want to do. So you, met, you went to the mailbox. That's all we had, right? Okay, that's it, guys. I was in the John. All right. <laughs> what were... <laughs> They're going to be upset, man. Be upset. I haven't been to the P.O. box. Guys, it's so hard to get to the post office here, man. Where my P.O. box is, there's triple double parking. Word. It's hard as hell to get in that post office. You got the mail trucks there. You got people double parking there. Then you got me with this big ass Ram. Pause. It was crazy out here, man. See, it's crazy, crazy. I'm going. I'll be there tomorrow, man. I'll be there tomorrow, man. Big ring. Uh, what would your last setup be if you had to pick? What would be your last setup if you had to pick? Why is a decent question? I'm gonna give you a four out of ten on that question. I'm gonna start rating these fucking questions, man. Nah, man. Some of you niggas, I got too much freedom. Yeah, you know what it is, but some of you, I got too much freedom. What would be your last <laughs> I <got> setup? <laughs> I'm sitting like, what's he what talking about? What would be about? your last setup if you had to pick? Vicky, you go first. I just said you go first. My last setup, if I had to pick, would be surprise K series. <laughs> uh, it'd be a twenty-four twenty aluminum rod, uh, eleven to one piston. Ported head, cams, seventy two eighty five, dog box transmission, twin welding pumps on M five. Go fuck yourself, America. Yeah, I don't know all of these numbers. I would have a sixty two sixty five, eighty nine twenty fifth, and uh, dog box with a seventy six uh, gear, and I put it in a hatch. Good setup. That's a great Solid setup. Solid setup. Let's move on. Yeah, move I, on. I don't, I don't move move forward. Yeah. Uh, Retro S2000, 
for its 20 in <laughs> coming out in 2020. Yeah, I heard it's just parts that they're bringing out. So, so they're not that. retro in the S2000. You okay. niggas is out here lying. Yeah, Y'all lying. Mm-hmm. We're mm-hmm. thinking the S2000's coming back. Probably top five worst Hondas ever made, but it's all good. <laughs> Yo, piss off some people. Give me the top five worst Hondas. EF. EF. <laughs> CRX, the DA, EP3, and S2000. <laughs> oh shit, they fucking pissed right Top now. five worst fucking Hondas Ooh. ever made. But goddamn it, I love them because they're Hondas. Oh, that hurt. That S2000, man. That shit came out. We thought oh. it was. It's over. Ferrari, where yeah, you yeah, at? Yeah, yeah, where you at? Lambo, where you at? What's <laughs> up, man? Big H in here, man. Where you man. at, nigga? Balls swinging, nigga. Balls almost hitting the knees. That's how much we hanging. Dogs got blow the fuck off. Shit, Pay barely you know. could do a donut. Oh, man, so funny. You got to put that pussy in first gear, go to 8,000 RPMs, and pray to God it's raining outside for you to do Honda, I'm ashamed of you, Honda. The S2000. So they're not retro in the S2000. What are they retro in? A few parts. I don't know the specifics of the parts. Uh, produced. Exec. What are the specific parts? Um, accessories, bumpers, wing, small stuff. And how long? 20 years? And this, that's what they fuck? Okay. Give me more power to you, man. What happened to our 20-year anniversary with what? the EGs? What we get? Ooh, what you want a side skirt? Is it quarter panels? Word. Word, word. Oh, the, yeah. word. The cluster? Word. Word, 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 word. GSR shift knobs. When those gonna get retro? <laughs> Remember? Oh, my God. Yeah. Big yeah, stitch, nigga. little curve on Yeah, it's big, big stitch. stitch nah, nigga. Big you stitch, You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Big 1300, 1400. What the fuck going on? You know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck going on, man? Oh, man. Yo, recap of uh, 2019, shit. man. Recap of 2019? Yes, you have to. Uh, had a recap. Man, my memory sucks. You did it already? No, I'm just oh. saying my memory sucks. The recap of 2019. I know I did a lot of fucking incredible shit. A lot of drama. A lot of drama. Fuck them. And they mama. Because <laughs> that rhymed with drama. No, I got you. So I'm the bars. bars. 16. Put the beat on, nigga. Put a beat on, nigga. Yo, Freeway, you lost. Yeah, you lost. <laughs> beat no beat. It's over. <laughs> Put a Lost. beat on, nigga. Cassidy beat you, bro. Stop it. Um, and we're not putting a beat on. I had a good year, man. I'm alive and healthy. My children are alive and healthy. Uh, three squared meals a day. All my bills are paid for. All my friends are healthy. All my friends remain loyal. That I consider my brothers and friends. My 2019 was great. I broke a world record. Uh, fastest 99 millimeter in the world. I was the first one to go eights with a 99 millimeter crank. And um, I upset a whole bunch of bitch ass niggas by doing it, and not not to even style on them too much, Vicky. Mm. I did that shit in Texas, pussy. Mm. <laughs> what? You niggas is at World Cup. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> Yo, try put the nitro in, dope. These niggas want to know the specific gravity on your shit. Specific gravity, sat seventeen million, man. Seventeen million. What I pour in my shit will burn the sun, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> shit will burn the sun, man. I got a geek as a tuner, man. A nigga a geek. Man. Nah, that's true. A nigga a geek, man. Nah, that's true. Yeah. He hates being called a geek. Why? I would love to be called a geek. Yeah, me too, instead of shit. being a dumb nigga. <laughs> no, you want to be stupid nigga. Jamie, all Jamie missing is uh, suspenders and glasses with, with white tape in the middle. Word. Nerd ass nigga. Point Dexter. Point Dexter good with that laptop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you seen what he did to Project Driver. No, we didn't see, actually. We gonna see, though. Fool, big fool. 2019 was uh, good, bad, ugly, and great all at the same time for me. And I enjoyed it. Learned a lot. And I'm planning on pushing forward this year with it. Okay. So what were some of the goods? It was uh, gun gas. Gun meeting, gas. Meeting people. The fucking love is unreal. Still fucking mind boggling. Vegas, first time. Mm. Um, mm. The track first time was last year. All right, so yeah, I, 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 I got a, I had a great fucking great year. Even with the pain and everything else, it was fucking awesome. So now the bad. Nah. 
Oh, the bad. We're just ordinary people. I didn't get the race at home today. <laughs> that fucking sucked, man. Oh, man. Uh, that's this, about it. I don't want to get into it. I'm over it. This nigga had trailer malfunctions. <laughs> yeah, yo, easy. Easy. That was a touchy subject. This nigga went so far <laughs> under the bushes. <laughs> they sent out a search party, man. Tarzan was hanging out I with probably would have won. That's how much class, he was man. in the bush. I probably would have won my class, man. Probably. Penny with pineapple, man. You gotta keep jibbing, nigga. My shit ain't 25. It ain't it ain't 12.5 car because that's what they call that one, but <laughs> I'd have given him a try. I would have tried. You think you could have won that event? I would have tried. My shit at 12.5 car? Mm. Yeah. Yo, why you see it? Ad living in the back. What's good with your man, my nigga? Yo, exact. Produce. Chill. Yo, um, please. Dress like he's <laughs> going to a gym. Who? <laughs> yeah, he's. he's <laughs> Like a gym teacher. Nah, he just uh, he just ran around Aspen four times. <laughs> All right, so uh, some of the good was gun cast meeting people, and some of the bad was not being able to compete in H day because yeah. you felt like you could have won that event. Yeah, I think you could have too. I think you had a good chance at it, but um, good chance. Though. It is what it is. Yeah, this year's uh, you know, you'll see. Uh, it is what it is. Our opinions on Toyota Celica's GTSs. <laughs> look at the pen, look at the pen. You see, I give him the paper, that's it. <laughs> Guys, I don't know anything about Toyota Celica, so <laughs> I'm good. The only Toyota Celica I know is... um. See, she had one. Yeah, it should look like Baby Shark. Do, 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 baby Shark. Do, 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 is there any fast baby ones? Shark. Never. We would know. There was never been a fast uh, Toyota Celica ever in the history of racing. What, what is it? Toyota Celica. <laughs> Nigga added a bad word to Toyota Celica. No, I wrote GTS. There's never been a fast one. Um, I think they bracket like um, 16 8. Oh, you disrespectful yeah. to y'all niggas, man. Listen to him, man. Get a Honda, man. I'm a bully out here, bro. I oh, love Hondas, man. man. I love Hondas. I don't people. not listen. No, all right, all right. Not for nothing. All jokes aside. When's the last time you heard of a fast Toyota Celica? Never. Me neither. Let's move on. Yeah, it's serious. It's I, I never heard yeah. of one. The giveaway is finally here. What's here? The giveaway. It says it. Manifold. Yes. Yes. So today, while you're watching this, we are going to announce the winner in the morning. So we tune. Oh, and let me tell you something about some of these people and the instructions. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. <laughs> Ah, give me tissue. <laughs> Yo, when I see the piece of clip you put up today, don't write it here. Don't write it here. Ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going on with this world. <laughs> it's basic instructions. The instructions were simple. You follow TSM Race, I was tagging them in the comments. I said, guys, I'm going to vlog Dino Wing Project Driver. That video in the comments, you're going to take a guess on how much horsepower Project Driver made. In the vlog. In the vlog. Mm -hmm. And you win a free manifold from TSM Race. From the vlog. From the vlog. Okay. I, like, started the marketing for it, like, two days before, and people were commenting. Mm -hmm. Horsepower. I Over had... 400 comments, and I wrote in there, guys, what the fuck's going on here? I had niggas go, yo, Dickie, you got a 2420, right? How much horsepower you made again? I mm. left them on scene. Yeah. <laughs> nah, man, you yeah. got to fin for yourself, Believe man. You we try scene, to be fair. Nigga. But um, congratulations to whoever the winner is by now. Yeah. We'll have one. And that's what we're going to continue to do for 2020. Guys, i just like to tell you, today's January 3rd. January all over again. It is all over again. But it's January every month for us. Mm. Um... Three days into the New Year's, we're already giving away a manifold. Next month, so two months into the New Year's, so y'all, we're giving away the all-wheel drive left-hand uh, lefty, right-hand drive. We're gonna continue to keep inspiring our followers. We're gonna continue to keep supporting them because they ultimately support us. Yes, it's the bottom line, and th and that's why I love them. So I don't always think about us, especially when we talked about merchandise with you. I said, Vic. The main thing you have to do is create to give them something they're going to like and love. Mm -hmm. Not because you're looking for a dollar amount. Yeah. 
If you ever are chasing the dollar, listen, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite. You're supposed to get up and chase the dollar. You're supposed to chase that money. You're supposed to hustle. You're supposed to work. I don't agree with, no, nah, it's going to sound crazy. Don't chase the dollar. Chase the work ethic to get the dollar. Like, all right, if I'm here 7 in the morning and I bust my tail, if I get to work an hour early, I get out an hour early, I can have a side hustle to do something else. I can paint cars. I can do clutch jobs. I can rebuild transmissions. Chase the hustle, mm. not the dollar. I learned how to fucking draw a hat yesterday because of that. Good. Good for you. Literally. Good that for you. I drew out five different hats. Good for you. Different colors. Colored them in and everything and sent them to Manny. What you think? <clears throat> so, yeah, you got you to gotta do what you got to do, basically. How, how, was his, how was his response? He liked it. All right, that's what's up. Yeah, he liked it. That's what's up. Manny has a, a great taste in fashion. Um... Manny does an excellent job with the Keep Dunning merch. Yes. Yeah, man. So, it's just, some, for, it's just it's, something wrong with his fingers. It's just Can't for a night. It yeah. If it's a no, then I go back to the drawing board, obviously, and do what I got to do. Bro, All right. <laughs> yeah. You missed that joke. It's all right. I'm just going to keep going. Uh, small companies that would want to help get out there more in 2020. Yeah, I did miss that, actually. <laughs> what uh, kind of companies... I don't really, it's, I like uh, people that do fabric, fabrication, like welding and tags and stuff like that, because that's very hard to come by, but I don't, I'm not, I don't have anybody in mind. Yeah. Vibrant I like, Yeah. but I'm, I don't have anybody in mind. Yeah, Vibrant, Vibrant's uh, good parts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see like an underdog company start winning. I'd like to help out more companies this year. I'm gonna. I've been writing out my proposals, and I'm not doing sponsorships anymore. So I'm doing um, business ventures with companies. I believe whatever company I reach out to is the company I want to help push for 2020. I want them to be successful. I want to help uh, market their brand. I want to help my gunners receive their uh, brand at an affordable price and. The circle just keeps continuing. You know what I mean? Every one hand washes the other. Both hands wash the face. I think with a lot of companies, with probably the, the, the holdup with them, only because not every company has, a, say, a TSM fucking budget, where they can go purchase thirty fucking manifolds at two hundred dollars less per manifold. So not every company can do that. Yeah, it's it's hard to support shops that aren't like Tri-State. I I know that sounds crazy. But I commend the small shops that are still in business, that are helping their core customers. Yo, big salute to you, man. All you small companies, whether you like me or not, whether you like the gunners or the movement or not, it's all ultimately up to you, and that's your personal problem. But I commend you for continuing to stay open because it's really hard out here with the internet, man. I mean, you can go on Amazon and build a car. Amazon. E eBay. And you're, I'm not saying eBay because isn't it something weird yeah. about eBay? Like, it's hard to set up an account. It was for me when uh, I did it. Just it, weird. it like, was. With eBay, it's like, oh man, I need. It was. Amazon I need, was free. I need proof of this and whatever. But Amazon is great. You can, I mean, I order from Amazon maybe three times a day. It shows up here quick. Fuck you ordering over Amazon. Killer shit, nigga. Project Driver shit. What's up, man? We're going to talk about Project Driver in the raw sex or what, nigga? Nope. Uh, scratch that off. Get your pen. Do what you do. Do what you do. There you go. <laughs> next question. <laughs> you know what you do. <laughs> uh, the next Guncast live. When are we doing a live for Guncast? When is the next live? That's what the man want to know. The, the problem with that one is we're going to have to do it to where you guys pay for a question. Because if we're going to take a question serious and we don't want to be looking there like, oh, he said, is it, 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 for it to be more coordinated, I think we should, um, we're going to start inquiring about a super chat. And then maybe that's how we can fund the gun cast since we're getting sponsored by no one. All these block niggas could come and comment now and pay. Yeah. So if you want to ask any kind of question, you have to pay. Your question stays up there. We must answer it. It's a donation. You know what's be dope? We'll do that on the super chat. And we have to promise, no matter the question, we must answer it. You paid for it. That'll be dope. Okay. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, Ak, you can't hold back. You got to speak the truth. I paid for this question. I want to know the answer. Maybe once, maybe once a month. We have to start funding the gun cast a little bit more because um, I'm fucking with. it's you know it's difficult. You know what I mean? Vic Vic doesn't have another job. I don't have another job, and this takes up a lot of time. But it keeps you guys happy on Mondays, and honestly, it. it'll never end as long as you know God willing, everything stays together. Word. Yeah, it'll never end. Uh, what's what is the point of recording the live? Yeah, what the fuck is the point of that. Oh no, you I I, I don't I, know. I don't understand the gap. But what's the point of people recording your lives? Like when you're on live or I'm on live or this nigga's on live or another nigga's on live, why are people recording it if you're already there watching it? What is the point of that? Oh, um if I'm watching you live, why am I screen recording it? Snakes. Send it to who? Who the fuck are you sending my live to? Snakes. Snakes. The people the people that are blocked That's have crazy. have these snakes in our lives. That are screen recording. Let me tell you something. There's probably hundreds of people that have my lives recorded yeah. and have snipped and have edited and are going to try to make like a video of every bad thing I've ever done. And they're going to say, look at this guy. This is your leader. And then gunners are going to be like, ah, yeah, motherfucker. But that nigga gave me 20% off on a clutch. Who the fuck are you? What'd you do? Yeah, yeah, that nigga's answering me at 3 in the morning. Who the fuck are you? What did you do? I guess it's just trying to destroy your character. It's not about what they do. Keep anyway. building those fucking lives. Fuck you. If you're comfortable in your own skin, this goes to anyone. All my all brothers right, and sisters out weird. there. If you're comfortable in your own skin, who gives a fuck what people have to say about you? Be comfortable in your own skin. Don't worry about what the next man or female is thinking or saying about you. No one ever attacks a loser. No one ever attacks a person that is losing. They attack people that are progressing and that are successful. That are winning, yeah. And how many people have came up to... You know how many... Oh, countless people, Vic. Countless, I swear on everything I love. Countless people have came up to me at every different event, different states, all over the world through DMs, and they say the same thing. How the fuck do you do it, bro? I'd have been lost it. And I say, I use that shit as fuel. I hope more hate comes. Yeah, hate brings money and fucking more people to see if this bullshit is true. And you fucking niggas fail every fucking time. Every single fucking time. I just don't get it. Like, I was on last week when you left. I was uh, I was on live, how I do after every gun cast. Mm. And like 30, 40 people in it. I'm telling old high boo stories, but only what I recall mm -hmm. on my behalf. Mm -hmm. Not one fucking comment. Not one comment. A nigga wrote on there like, oh, these niggas are screen recording. You heavy right now, Vic. <laughs> I said, yeah, waiting for me to say something spicy. Ain't nothing coming out, man. You niggas got to mind your ain't business, nobody man. nobody worth beefing with, bro. Yeah. We don't start beef with I'm nobody, I'm talking about all man. the fun shit we had. Seeds fucking in tag room yeah. and shit like that. Like, yeah, man, yeah. Fun. Listen, there's a lot of bullshit that happened on that side. And I'm, I'm happy it happened on that side. I'm glad niggas ain't tell me to put that banner on. Because it made the Keep Gunning brand probably the greatest thing that ever happened to racing. To everybody. It, to everybody. We've right. changed so many lives. It's an underdog story. Um, whatever, the, whatever the other side wants, I have a lot of peace. I have a lot of decent relationships with some of the people from that other side. Yeah. But I want to thank you, God. Thank you so much, God, for them telling me I can't put the banner on my car. It was the greatest thing that ever happened to me besides the birth of my children. The greatest. Thank you so much, God. I know everything has a plan, and I followed your plan. Thank you. All jokes aside. All right. <clears throat> and I want to get the fuck away from that shit. What was that next one? Oh, the live shit, right? Uh, side note, the lottery is rigged. Yeah, lottery is fucking rigged, bro. This, this is this came off I the never topic. met someone that won a lottery, Vic. This, and I don't know a lot of people. Especially with, like, millions? Yeah, nah, never. Never. I don't know any. But as far, it came from, stemming from when we said uh, poor people. How is there still poor people in the United States? Yeah, like, somebody wrote, morning. how are we still giving mega millions? In that was a great comment. Tupac said that back in the day. I agree with you, so. Nobody should be willing to fucking mega millions for $36 trillion when there's fucking people starving on the street. 
Let's, that last one we just had, it happened a few years ago too. That last big <clears> fucking <throat> one billion dollar pot. Yeah. What you think that was by accident that nobody hit that fucking number four fucking times? No. Enough they, for nothing. When they we owe sh- money, who won that's that? That's what they do. No, Somebody people, won. Four people won it. All right, four people won. <clears throat> we never hear about it again. How much? What did they do for the? Pay? Co- that money went somewhere. Somebody major higher ups owed that money. That's why they had to hold it. Build it up, and then when you get taxed, I can only imagine what a $1 billion tax bracket must look like. 40%? 40%? But it's four people, so you got to split that first and then tax that. Mm-hmm. That's insane, my nigga. Okay, so let, let's get this straight here. We love speaking conspiracies. We love having this kind of dialogue. You people clearly love you it. You people love it. And I, and I love that you love it and because we're speaking people? with a free mind. Huh? Who's your people? My gunners, my friends, my, my family. You um, <laughs> what do you mean, you people? You see what I'm saying? Where you, where you keep getting this you people shit from? Who's you people? Are you, are, you are you pulling a race card right now? Yeah. You got to be careful with the you people. <laughs> you better be careful we on camera. Don't get Yeah, trouble, you man. you got to be careful. I'm I black, said you nigga. people. I fuck every race friend. out here, nigga. I'm black, nigga. So yeah, why a... is that, <laughs> No, we, let me ask we you We had it hard. Now, hold on. Let me ask you a yeah, fucking question. Yeah. 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 Why can black people call a white person a cracker? Okay. And and they, you know, they're not supposed to get offended. But if a no, white you can. person calls a black person a nit no, with you, the er, you can. But which one? Nah. Had more, which one had more of an effect? That's okay. Why. Okay. You call a white person a cracker, they say go fuck yourself, nigger. Yo, that shit hit different. Yeah, <laughs> that shit hit different. But, all right, so then you was it. All right, so then you call you call <laughs> you call me a cracker, okay. and then I'd be like, go fuck yourself, the n word, right, with the er. Yeah. And how could you get mad at me? You insulted me. Cracker is it like the N-word, but but you're all right. The N-word did come with suffering. It came with, yeah. Yeah, it came you know with what? Pain. You're right. I mean, we got white friends that say it, so it's not like we out here killing people over it. I don't... Like, but that's what I'm saying. Really like, really all right, care. so... Uh, I don't want to get into the race thing, really but care. we need to be better, man. We need to work together more, bro. Cancel the whole nigga shit, period, niggas. Let's say something else. <laughs> niggas. <laughs> Kids are the whole word, niggas. niggas. <laughs> All right, I want to ask you guys. I want to ask you guys a question and Vicky a question. You said four people won one billion dollars. I think it might have been like six, but I think. Okay, four. let's call it six people. Okay. We don't see none of the six people anywhere in the media. Oh no, you pay. You pay for that. They had, I, I forgot, I think it was a guy from the Bronx, was the first dude, or Mount Vernon, that had the, he fought for him not to be out there. He paid. Now, now what yeah, they do is they but, give it to their lawyer, their lawyer holds the check, because that's what you had to do in order to collect it. You had yeah. to go on TV and show that you want it. You had to. And they used to hire a lawyer to do it? But now they did. After that guy fought, he's like, I don't want it on there. I don't want to be on TV. I don't want people to know. Exactly. And after he won that case, then it came out that your lawyer can go and hold the Fire. check up okay. and you don't have to put yourself Very out smart. there anymore. Very smart. Because you niggas is dying over that. Very smart. But this is this is where I have a bone to pick with that situation. Um me, you, Trappy, the gunners, viewers on YouTube, we don't know anyone that won the Mega Million. That's a lot of people watching right now. Nobody's aunt knows somebody that won the Mega Million that they used to hang out with. I'm sorry, man. We never hear about these stories after. And how the fuck does the pot get so high so quick again? Like, did, bro, we just gave away a billion dollars in lotto? There's people that really gamble. Man. And there's people... No, but there's, there's people that are sleeping on the street. Yeah. There's people in shelters. There's... I'm sorry. Where did all that tax money go? That's what I want to know. After you tax them six people... Where did that money go? Good point. You'll never know. Good point. Somebody owed a nut to Good somebody. Point. Pause. Great point. So the lottery is rigged. I think we all can agree on that. I'm going to agree with you and me on that. 9-11. Talk. <clears throat> talk about it. Maybe not too deep. You know what? That's perfect that we'll talk about 9-11 a little bit because then we'll be able to get into this Iran war and uh, Donald Rumsfeld. Okay. All right. So, I think the day before 9-11, um, Donald Rumsfeld tweeted out or they released... No, they gave a public... I'm sorry. They gave... 
uh, a press conference that they were missing trillions of dollars in mm -hmm. the Pentagon. Pentagon. They can't find the money. Trillions of dollars. Probably the biggest loss of money in human civilization. The next day we had 9-11. Pentagon was hit. In that department, by the way. In that department, we <laughs> lost all the documents the to that. To the, and this is all facts. Mm -hmm. Either a day or a few days prior to 9-11, the government releases a statement slash announcement that there's trillions of dollars missing that they can't find. The next day or the next few days, 9-11 happens. We forget all about it. Get ready to go to war. Mm -hmm. Donald Rumsfeld, this might get me killed. Um, is probably closest thing to Hitler. One of the biggest pieces of shit. Um, what did you watch the doc? Yeah, watch the doc. Um, he had taken himself out of a company that he owned. He had basically gave up his shares, and that same company was responsible for cleaning the debris. And the garbage in the Iraqi war. So he got, he, they're saying that he basically instigated the war to go to Iraq so that he can make trillions of dollars too. Okay. So we knocked down buildings over there because we're at war. And then his company would fly to Iraq, clean up the debris. And get the government to pay them for it. <laughs> Phoenix. <clears throat> I've never seen an investigation move so fast a day in my life like that one. The metal was gone the next day, same day. All the steel from down there. Everything was cleaned up. Uh, the memorials were being built uh, to where you can come visit it. They had everything dug out. I've never seen an investigation um, go that fast. Yeah, jet fuel doesn't burn through something not people kept one. saying. Not not through, not through steel. It burns really. at like 2,000 degrees. Yeah. Thermite. Yeah. Is what it was. Yeah. And you have to place thermite there. Honestly, yeah. guys, you got to really be careful yeah. with the 9 11 talk. Yeah, they're careful. kind of uh, also. This uh, come back to bite us in the ass. They're, they're also. I hope not. But they're also demonetizing um, any kind of conspiracy talk. So we yeah. have to really tread lightly yeah. if you guys want to have us. If you want this channel to stay alive, be mindful. Yeah, be mindful on the questions that you ask because I can point you with a look. We could do that. Nine Eleven loose change. Then I can point you with a look. Just go watch that. I've seen a lot of good documentaries on it, and that was, that a lot was, of that things that made one. sense. Alex Jones documentary was a good one. There's a few good ones. I too. seen the nine eleven attack. I was in uh, in English class and school. Right? Yeah, I was in museum. And um, our school was by the Hudson River. So when the first... We were actually watching a movie in Mrs. Ronco's class, uh, our English teacher. We were... Uh, we found out through the announcement that the tower has been hit. We all ran to the window because you could see the George Washington Bridge and then the turn of the island. I saw the second plane hit. I saw it. So if anyone's telling you, oh, 9-11 didn't happen, it was fake, you know, the building came down, there was no planes, where's the debris? I saw the plane hit. Are you sure? I saw the plane hit. The second tower, I saw the plane hit. Okay. And then we had the TV on, and then they just kept recapping it. But a lot of that Man, footage is gone, too. A lot of that footage is gone. Yeah. And uh, let's not talk about Tower money. 5. A lot of 7. Bring it down. Building 7. Building 7 or Tower 5? Building 7. Okay. A lot of people made a lot of money that day, especially the guy that owned Building 7. That didn't have to come down. All right. And also, I don't want to get into how many people called out of a specific religion mm. yeah. that same day. We're going to leave it alone. Yeah, we're going to leave it alone. Iran war. Yes, get to it. So, um, high-ranking commander. Um, basically accused by Donald Trump and his intel of going to Iraq and plotting on killing U.S. soldiers. First of all, when you fuck with U.S. soldiers, they kill you. It's the bottom line. These guys over there at that war, 
uh, over there at that overseas fighting for our freedom, um, we love you and we commend you for it. But what happened was President Trump um, executed an airstrike that killed a high-ranking Iranian general. Now, we are on to day two while we're speaking about it. And there's three days of mourning in that country for that general. And this is from what I read. I'm just recapping. And um, these people want vengeance. They want revenge. They're screaming at the top of their lungs that they want revenge. And uh, the president of the country said there will be harsh revenge. Did we just get ourselves into World War Three? Because Iran has allies, a lot of allies, because Iran has resources. So do we. We just gave Iran money. Did we? Obama. Yeah, Obama did. Give him like a billion dollars or some shit like that. I didn't hear about that. Do you think we just got ourselves into World War Three? What do you think is going to happen? Right. We just killed a high-ranking officer. And the people from that country want revenge. <clears throat> if someone killed our Secretary of State in an airstrike, what are we doing? Are we going to war or is it water under the bridge? Yeah, it might be water under the bridge. It might be. You think Iran is pussy? No, I ain't got nothing to do with that. There would be massages made. Backs will be rubbed. They'll be caressing. We won't go to war. Even if we do, they'll be talking that hot shit. United States just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think no, I don't think no country... I think the closest country to... Is it China backing them? Yes. And Russia? And Russia. Come on, man. We gotta stop thinking like we are this powerhouse that can't be defeated. We need to mind our fucking business, That's man. It. Why is our troops still in the Middle East, bro? Why are we in Libya? Why are we in Iraq? Police of the world. Man. Why are we policing these people? If there's a genocide happening on that side, why doesn't fucking Great Britain pick up the slack? Why doesn't Canada? Why doesn't fucking El Salvador? Why doesn't Dominican Republic? Why doesn't Japan, Korea? Why is it always us? Are we the little brother that's always looking for attention? Yo, enough is enough, man. Money. Enough is enough. Money, power. The only people that lose is us. Yeah. That's it. Everyone else wins. These old white men that we never going to fucking see, that control every single dollar that gets spent in this country, those guys don't pay for shit. This is fucking, this, I mean, this is beyond ridiculous, man. So, enough is enough, I'm man. against war completely. Is this a fucking democracy or not? Or, or yes, bro. Is this a really a democracy? Is it really? We don't have no power. Eh. We have no power. I wouldn't say that. I, I wouldn't agree because <laughs> it's, it's us that are brainwashed. Because we think like that, and we do. If we, if me, you, and everybody here, everybody, all are going to stop going to work for a week, who pays the cops? Who pays them? Money. We got to remember money runs this country. Let's money runs this country, but this is what happens. You always got that fucking snake or slime ball to while you guys are protesting at your job, you that's going to swoop right in and take your position. Fuck you, I ain't got a job. That's what I'm I'll saying. take it. Y'all go protest. Everybody. It's hard, man. We together. have no power. And it's ne we're never going to stick together. That, that would be Ever. Crazy. Racism is at the... All time high. Is it? Yeah. It. Hold on. Yes. Give me a second here. <clears throat> I don't remember racism being this big of a topic... Believe it or not, when George Bush was in office, when Bill Clinton was in office. Yeah, he was. I don't remember this racism thing, this race war within our country, more than the last four years of the second term for Obama and the first year of Trump. As a matter of fact, I'll give you one better. 
I don't remember this much racism during Trump's campaign. Oh, no. I don't remember that either. Racism is alive and well. That came out of Don't you ever worry about it. Don't you ever think that it's in any harm, something's going to happen to it, we're going to lose it. No. Racism is alive and well on both sides. White still hates black. Black still hates white. The only way it can be resolved is if a leader, a true leader, addresses it and stays on it. Nips it in the bud, but still enforces it that that's not how this country works. It ain't ain't so stupid. But there's money in that too, so. Then we need to mind our fucking business. It ain't going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers and sisters, I'm only fucking talking to gunners right now. Live your life to the fullest extent. Enjoy it. Enjoy every fucking second of it because you have no power. I, no power. Him, we don't have power. Racism ain't going nowhere. Taxes ain't going nowhere. Your boss is not going to get nicer. Just live your fucking life. I tell you, I'm ready to wake up as a collective. Now I'm there with you. What you got? What's that uh, show on the bottom? What this? Yeah. No, I just wrote some while you were t- while you were talking. Uh, a book named The Last President. You ever heard of it? No. Talk to me about it. it. I never heard of it. Uh, one of the gunners says a book named The Last President and it describes how Trump might be the last president. I've been hearing that for years though that there's going to be one last president, the finale, and it's it. And I remember what? Trump did say that he was going to try to change it so he's the last president. I did remember him saying that. Yeah, no, it's impossible, though. So we're, we're, we're not going to become a democracy? <laughs> I don't know. I, I did hear it, though. I did hear it. No, that's impossible. It's going to be the one, one last there president. There always needs to be a face. Like how China is. Uh, is it China? No, Korea. There always needs to be a face. And the president is the face. The president is the distraction. Guys, what if there's something bigger that's happening behind our backs, under our noses, than the Americans doing an airstrike on the Iranian uh, commander? It'll come out. What if there's something bigger than that? Like, hey, this is a huge distraction. Perfect. Let everyone look over there, and we're going to go and do what we really came to do. Fuck that shit. We that's can, the problem. We can destroy See, Everybody's seen the fucking drone strike and just... Uh, whatever it is, and just look at that. What led up to this? Who was he? What did he do? What did he say no to? What did he rival against? What did he do? What did he profit from? What did he say? Like, there's more to it, man, than just looking at it. And I don't even know. And I have no idea. But I'm pretty fucking sure that there's more to that. Listen, if the intel is correct from what President Trump received, he is correct. He is right for what he did. His intel told him that that leader flew into Iraq to, cons- to, to calculate on how to execute attacking American soldiers. If that is 200% correct and that airstrike was a success, then you have to thank the president for protecting our soldiers. If that's 100% true. Exactly. That's it. That's all I'm saying. Let's get back into cars. Project Driver. Versus the slow SX. They don't say that, God. Come oh, on. raw SX, my bad. Yeah, come on. Kind of uh, blind in one eye. <clears throat> Project Driver versus the raw SX. Vic, talk your shit now because when my car was getting built, you was coming in here like your dick was 18 feet long, nigga. So talk whatever you got to talk now because I'm ready. My car's outside. What you want to do? What you smell? Food, nigga. Heavy, heavy smell. curry, food. nigga. Heavy <laughs> curry. <laughs> Fuck, man. <laughs> Fucking food, nigga. Next dry day, we're going to... You we're racist we're piece of shit with the curry. You sure we eat curry too in your country? Yeah, we eat curry. We love that shit. halal, man, with the white sauce. Love right? halal. We love curry. <laughs> I love Indian food, man. I love Indian Yo, food. Yo, don't put your sexy voice on when you say that. Buddy. Project... And I lick my lips just now, too. Pause. Project Driver versus Slow Rara Sex. So, uh, I think it's going to be a good race. My man, your uh, road... Uh, what's what's his, what do you? Oh call shit! It? I could say the horsepower. Sleepy gunner. I could say the horsepower. Yeah, you can. Two hundred and forty-three horsepower, one hundred and ninety <laughs> pounds of torque. What you want to do? 
<laughs> what? That's not enough. That's not enough. 207, 247. You heard that? I got a few more ponies than you got. But I have 194 pounds to talk to. And a heavier car. And I'm going to walk this You have a heavier car? Yeah. I bet you don't. And I'm going to walk you. I, I bet, bet I do. Don't. How are you coming to race me? The way it is. How's your car the way it is right now? What does it have on it? It don't have nothing cut up on it. It don't. You coming to race me with your full doors? Yeah. Nah, you disrespected yeah, me. Yeah, nah, nigga. I'm trying to dis- tell you. Now you disrespect me. What the fuck you think this listen is, Listen to man. me. Now, no, listen to me. This gun cash shit can end at 35. What? Vicky, you come in full weight yeah. to race Project Driver. Yeah. Because you think I'm going to switch all my shit off of that? No, I'm not doing that. You got a pair of balls on you. One gunner said, if you lose, this would be your excuse. I left my bowling ball in the trunk. <laughs> that was <awesome. laughs> Where the fuck you get a bowling ball from? <laughs> Yo, tell me lefty. Tell me lefty, our lefty, don't look like a Dominican dolphin. Yeah, you look like a Spanish. <laughs> Yo, you a, know what? I'm not even joking. You don't watch this shit, right? Yeah, you look like a fucking Spanish dolphin, you man. You look like a Dominican dolphin. <laughs> like, what? Like, no, I don't look like a Spanish that dolphin. Nigga, when he put the beanie on, that shit be like, The poking out? Yeah. Like, yo, this nigga look like a Dominican dolphin, man. You see why you got all these niggas wearing hats around you? Because of the bullshit you be on? You see my shit. You see the bullshit you be on? <laughs> Shit wavy. <laughs> Yo, I don't know how y'all don't be cutting this nigga. Shit wavy, because they crazy. see the drippy. <laughs> anyway, Project Driver versus Raw Sex, you coming on full weight? Yeah. You know you're not racing me, right? Who I'm racing? You racing Trappy Buckets, because oh you're too easy for me. Even worse. You're too easy for me. If I, when I dust that and shit off full come, weight. You better, you better come light. What? And when before you leave the house and kiss your wife, you'd be like, babe, I'm going to leave this here. Leave your stomach at home too. Come light. If he's driving, I Babe, give, I gotta I, race the project I, I, driver. I'll give you one. Leave this here. I'll give you one if Trap is driving. Locked. Bad. Locked. We'll take one, Trap. Take it. Swallow take your pride, you nigga. Fucking we'll take, take it. Trap. Mm-hmm. Take it. When I fucking walk this nigga. Nah, you're not you're, gonna nah, get out of there. Trap, let me let me get I'ma give you one now. Show you. I'ma give you one now. Show you all. You know what I'm gonna do? Because Trap did that. Going home. Yeah, I'll see y'all niggas tomorrow. 2,000 RPMs? 2,000 RPMs. I don't believe you. I think you're a liar. About what? Me walking you? About everything. You're not coming. I think you're going to come. I think you're going to come to win. You're going to come lightweight. With the nitrous on Bro, don't let me go buy (laughs) nitrous. With the (laughs) nitrous. Don't play yourself. Because my tuna. You probably the reason why my shit ain't wired yet. Because you're talking. Nah, my tuna likes likes me more than you too. Because. Clearly. Just let me know. Because I put a nitrous kit and Jamie told me. Huh. Easy, you would make 450 with this. Easy, bring it back whenever you're ready. You make 450, I can imagine. <laughs> you can imagine what you make. Exactly. What you would make, 700? <laughs> you make 450, I gotta make about five. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, why you be shitting on my dreams? Car, man. <laughs> that nigga be hating, man. He'll be hating. 243, 190, man. Bone stock motor. Your man over here got manifold, throttle body, K Pro version 3. Specific gravity meter. Come on. Man. What? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You got an air to flow, air fuel ratio in your shit, nah, my I don't nigga. Got, I don't got nah, it. you do. I got a bronze clutch, man. Nah, but put a, a cherry bomb clutch, on your man. shit and I'll give you Bronze five. clutch, man. Blue Iceman intake on there, too. Fuck <laughs> going on, nigga. Big 14. Yo, are you going to make these people a gun cast plate? Gun cast plate? These niggas be eating, my nigga. Word. My nigga Fluff. Fluff, man. man. I love that kid. Yeah, man. a little fat girl, There's no man. no shame in him, Word, man. man. That kid stay with the Wongs, too, man. Oh, oh JP. Wong. Yes! <laughs> Bring it back. Yes. Oh, JP. I oh, almost forgot. Oh, can wait. I see niggas. Oh, this ain't it. Oh, some nigga act some ridiculous shit. I'm not Let's reading hear it. that. Is it funny? I'll let you read it. Yo, I'll- Gunners, who would win? Project Driver or the roar of sex? Comment below, please. Everybody said that one. I got bets on me, man. Niggas already betting on me. The GoFundMe's already at 19 million, man. 19 million we got in our pot. How much y'all got? How much y'all got? We got, yo, we got 19 million. 
For what? For the race. Oh, I, I got nothing. We got 19 million, man. You probably I got, got 400. You got 400. You Let's hear nothing. JP. You don't get nothing. JP. Let's hear these uh, questions. Oh, man. This is all be right, JP. Shout would you rather? Shout out to JP. When we get to the last one, you're going to like it. All right. What's the first one? Okay. First one. Be known as the best ballet dancer or known as the worst break dancer? Bring back dinosaurs or bring back aliens? Dinosaurs. Last question. You gonna like this one? Have to teach Trump how to drive stick shift, or have Vicky take AK forty seven down for a quarter mile pass? Oh, That's a hard one. Man. You take your time with that one. <sighs> teach Trump how to drive clutch, or let me take a pass in the AK. Take your time. Take your motherfucking time. Does Trump have to borrow my helmet? Yeah, with the orange, it might have cheetah dust. Cheetos dust in it when he takes it off. I'm going to go with Trump. He has money. So when he breaks the transmission, he'll be able to pay for it. Not in the AK. You just got to teach him how to drive stick. Oh, not in the AK? Yeah, you can teach him oh, Project Driver. Just hang out with him? Teach him how to drive in Project Driver. Or let me take a pass. Man, 20 plus years. Been around. All your shit. Ace Boom Coon. Numero uno. Yeah, I'm going to go with Trump. Cause I know you, you gonna try to break a record. You gonna try to break the world record <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> Jay, oh, nah, man, oh, put oh, the straight oh, nitro oh, in that oh, shit, oh, man. Oh. Then we gotta cut the back of the roll cage, move you to by where the fuel pump mount is, weld the seat. You done? No, it's too much. Too much. This question you're going to read. That's on you. Shout out to mom, Texas. Word, mom. Mama love. Mama love. love, love. Girl. Never disrespect. Hold that because it's going to cut off. Just hold the screen, nigga. All right. You go to the club. You get wavy. You get a wavy woman approaches you and ending and ended nutting in her. All right. Hold on. 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 You know how many times I had to read that? Hold on. Alright, you go to a club, you get a wavy A woman. I think he's the one supposed to put A. He wasn't supposed to put A. What's what's going on here? You go to the club, you get wavy. You oh. go to the club, you get wavy, you get a woman that approaches you mm -hmm. and ended nutting in her. Mm -hmm. Next morning she confesses that she used to be a dude. Will you be pissed? And will you consider the gay even though she is... First of all, this she's, kid's retarded. She's technically a woman, he said. Okay. Um, Elver, mm -hmm. Longoria, two days ago. You might be retarded. I don't even know how you... He's Spanish. Is that Elver? <laughs> that gotta be Spanish. Elver's a Spanish name? Oh, no. All right, one more again. No, one more time. Hit him one more time. All right, you go to the club. You get a wavy A woman mm -hmm. approaches you. Mm -hmm. Ended nutting in parentheses her. Right, okay. Next morning, she, parentheses, confesses she used to be a dude. Mm -hmm. Will you be pissed and will you consider that gay even though she's technically, parentheses, a woman? He's dealing with that. This nigga is cuckoo, man. Listen, Elva, Elva, let me tell you something, Elva. If you're not retarded, you 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 might have gotten bamboozled. Yeah, swindled. Yeah, you might have gotten bamboozled, swindled. Mm. Uh, cool yes, yeah. yes, bullwinkled. Yeah. Some crazy shit. Y'all got your bullwinkled. When, Elva, when did you find out she used to be a dude? Yeah, I don't think it was the next day. When are you going to comment back? and When are you going to answer our questions? When did you find out she was a dude? Mm -hmm. Because for you to even fathom that story, that's yeah. crazy. And hey, he's lazy. My name's. The for sure. Hey, all the A's. Yeah. 
For sure. For Jay Z, sure. A Z. Yeah, Nazi. Everybody. Be easy. Z, yeah. <laughs> All Go the sleazy. Sleazy. Because this Son. question is crazy, nigga. Crazy. Oh, crazy. Crazy. That's hard. You are. Nah, you know what? I want to give this kid five minutes. Give me five minutes. You gotta eat. Maybe he needs help. You gotta eat your cinnamon toast crunch with Coca Cola. Or just the batter. You oh, it's just cinnamon toast crunch. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make pancakes mm -hmm. without the milk. Mm -hmm. You probably just use the water. Don't put the egg, and probably fry it. For sure, he wasn't dressed when he asked this question. No, he was not dressed. No, he was no, not as, dressed. As a matter of fact, he had boxers on, but the dick hole was behind. <laughs> Yelling at mom to hurry up with the breakfast. That's a fact. He definitely always... Go it! <laughs> definitely always leaves the garage door open, and then the raccoons come inside. And he renamed them. Yep. Jim, Harry, and Frank. Yep. Without a doubt. And when he goes to like the city fair, he doesn't spend no money there. He probably gets his own sandwich and soda. And like brings a, it. Like a two liter and like a, a hero. <laughs> it goes and sits on a Ferris wheel. Word. <laughs> that nigga definitely does that shit. He, no, you're different. The, word. Um, you took your driver's license photo like this. Yeah, that's what you did. Man. That's exactly what you did. I'm done cutting this nigga, yeah, man. Move me on. Too. Hey, guys. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. comment, mm -hmm. subscribe. We love you, man. Keep gunning. Fucking Elver. <laughs>